Well, this one has come back. I don't know if you guys remember this one, but it was in here for some major work, but it's back with a new problem. Let's get into it. All right, guys, here we have a 2014 EasyGo RXV. Uh, this one here was in the shop previously, as mentioned. Uh, we did a bunch of work to this cart. We did starter generator brushes, solenoid, and a new battery, full service. Whole bunch of stuff we did to this cart. Customer paid a lot of money, as they pointed out, <laughs> as they always do. Uh, <laughs> this one here has a new issue. I think it's a micro switch, but what happens when you step on the pedal is it kind of like cuts in and out and it doesn't stay on. So we'll get it up on the ramps and we'll tear the carpet off and we'll kind of look at the issue that it's having. All right, for this one here, we're gonna jump in the seat and I wanna show you, turn the key on, step on the pedal. Let's Turn the brake off. You can see it runs. But then, after a while, as you can see, we lose power. You can see the gauge is kind of conked out because the gas gauge only works on these things when they're running. But see, if I feather the pedal, see, see here? See how it just cuts out? And you see the power just kind of dies off. And it'll run, and then it quits. So that is definitely something probably in this pedal switch assembly. So we're gonna pull the carpet and get into the pedal, see what's going on down here. T45. I know I have a T45, I just have to find it. Back this out this out, back this out, okay, I'm just going to take this whole skirt off, there we go, it just makes getting to this area so much easier, there's also some push in Christmas tree things, which we will use our handy dandy body panel removal tool. I'm gonna put these up here. Right there. Always sounds like it's breaking when it's not. Okay, I think that's more right here. Should be, oh, there's one more. Oops. Right here, we'll remove. Come on. Get under. What the hell is going on here? Okay. And then we'll peel the carpet back. Kind of have to stretch it up and over the pedals here to get it out of the way. Oh, shut the key off. That's a big spider. That's a dead spider. Okay. Carpet's still in the way. So we'll just pull it back further. There we go. Now we can get the pedal group covers off. Hopefully we can get this off. Ow. There's one. There's two. I'm gonna put these ones up here. Just so I know which ones go where and we don't have any overlapping misplaced whatever's I think that's it right okay so this now yep there we go lifts right out of the way we're gonna take that boot off okay so here's the stop switch right here let's see you guys see what I'm doing yeah so there's a 
there's a stop switch on this cart. And it has, well, there's four wires going to it. Let's see if I plug it back in. Okay, so we have a we have a bad stop switch. We have to remove that and replace it. Oh, and hopefully this will. Yeah, all right, there we go. Using a wrench with an Allen key like this makes it a little bit easier to get leverage. There it is. There's our stop switch. Let's see if. Oh, turn the key on, die. Yeah, okay, see there. It's not working now, so. Okay, so we were able to reproduce the problem. So we know that for a fact that the stop switch is bad. So we'll get one ordered. So just up close, here's your stop switch. That's what it looks like. It's just a switch that goes on the pedal. Yamaha uses a very similar switch, but we're gonna order, order an OEM component. We'll replace it, put it in, and we'll get this customer's cart back to them. All right, guys, we're back on this one here. Finally. It is about 900,000 degrees outside and the humidity is at 11 billion percent. Uh, so I've already received the switches from EasyGo. Yeah, the fan's running in the background. It's really flipping hot. I need to have that going. So I apologize for the noise in advance. I don't have a little dead cat puffy thing on my microphone here. So hopefully you guys won't be hearing any wind noise. All right, so what we gotta do is we gotta press this don't you dare roll off of here, you dummy. We're gonna press the gas pedal down. I'm gonna get one screw started. Let's see if I can get it started by hand here. Now you gotta remember with these switches, they, actually I'm gonna unplug it so I can keep the wire out of the way. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. Probably not. These ones took a little longer to get to me than I would have liked, but I got them now, so that's the important thing. And the only problem I'm having at the moment is getting that one going. So if I push this down, see if that'll turn. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna get it to touch. I'll bring the camera in and I'll get you a little closer once we get it installed. I just want to get this thing done and out of here. Whoops. Ow, I just dropped it. Did it go on the floor? Yes, it did. So the way this switch works is it's a double duty switch, okay? So when you step on the pedal, it opens the shorting contacts for the ignition coil and closes the starting contacts, which basically enable and turn on the solenoid to start the starter generator. And then when you release the pedal, it shorts the ignition coil to ground and disconnects the start circuit or disconnects power to the start the solenoid so the starter generator stops. Let's just get this in. Okay. Now we'll plug it in. And then we'll keep it in neutral. Beautiful. Perfecto, okay. 
let's put this all back together now. Hopefully you'll be able to see. Let's move this wire out of the way. It's for the brake light switch. So you can see how the switch mounts in there. It's held in with those two Allen screws. And then when you step on the pedal, it opens and then it closes. So it, it actually rests on that little lobe on the, on the accelerator pedal. It's a nice design. It's, I think they copied it from Yamaha. Yamaha has a very similar, but not the same, uh, type of start switch, start stop switch, which is really nice. Actually, I like it better here than underneath the seat because at least there's a little bit more room to work. The only problem with this type of setup is you got to basically take the whole flooring apart to get to it. All right, so now we can put this thing back together. Put the floor pan back in. Put the rubber boot back over the accelerator pedal. So we have one, two, three, four. Grab the carpet here and see which ones actually have to go through the carpet. And if that one, that one, and that one go through the carpet. Looks like the rest of them are for that. So we're gonna turn the key off so we can manipulate the pedals a little bit. There's that one. Kinda gotta pull it. One thing I have to say that I do like, it's nice and stretchy, this stuff. So it does stretch really nice around everything where it's supposed to stretch anyway. Kinda manipulate our wires a little bit. Start poking in our at least attempt to. Okay, that's got a slot right here. See, it's it's all stretched out because it's been kind of parked and all funky since it's been here waiting for these stupid parts to come in. So everything's a little off. We'll get it though. Now we can take our trim. Get the carpet underneath that. We're gonna put this one on first. There's the old switch. I always give the customer back the old parts because I want them to see what was changed. That way they're very well aware of exactly the work that was done. I'm just going to start these by hand. Okay, and then there's three more. One here. I have a bunch of these in stock now, so if this ever happens again, I don't have to worry about waiting for, for EasyGo to get them to me. Okay. T45. Okie dokie. Key on, neutral. As you can see, that worked out pretty good. And it shuts off like it's supposed to. There you have it guys, there is that cart. It is done. I'm very happy about that. I'm happy to get this back to the customer. We pretty much replaced almost every component on this cart electrically and we've replaced everything with factory parts so we know that it's going to hold up hopefully it'll hold up just as well as it did before so all right guys i want to take this time and thank you very much for watching as always i really do appreciate it be sure to like the video if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you already haven't and be sure to ring the bell icon to be notified anytime i upload a video or go live Check the video's description down below to, for links to products I use every single day to bring you these videos. And as always guys, we'll see you in the next video.